leave a like on the video, subscribe with notifications on, then you will have good luck for the next five years. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Brighton here for Brighton Talks Tech. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a, your own PNG just like this one right here. And as you can see, we have it right now and it's just like a cutout. We can place this anywhere we want and it is just super perfect. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first you want to open up Photoshop and if you don't have Photoshop and you want to use a free alternative, use PhotoP. So it's just PhotoP.com and it's online, it's super easy and it's just like Photoshop. All the same tools, everything over here is the same. So you guys will pretty much enjoy that. Once you're in Photoshop, hit on File, go to New, then you just want to go to your custom, type in 1920 by 1080. I go in 3840 by 2160, which is 4K. You don't need 4K if you don't have a high-end PC, and with 300. If you have a lower-end PC, put it at 200, and that'll work for it. Hit on Create, and then what you want to do is, I'm going to get rid of this project, so make sure you have this project loaded up, and what you want to do is you want to start off by hitting Control S or Command S on your keyboard, and what that's going to do is it's going to save all right so what you want to do is you want to open up your file so I'm gonna hit on open and I'm gonna give you guys this folder right here it is called example Photoshop fold photos and they'll be inside the description then open up 06b right here inside the example Photoshop folders so you just want to open it up drag it with the move tool so how I just now did this was I went to it and it was right here and my other projects over here where we just now made you want to go to it and then what you want to do is you want to use your move tool which is right here it's the top tool right here or just hit V on your keyboard and hold it drag 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 hold it over the tab pull it down and let go and there it is so I'm going to delete one of those really quick you guys don't have to do that unless you did too so there's one right here and what you want to do is hit on control T or Command T for Mac and on PC it's Control T. You want to do that, you'll see these dots come around the image. Then you just want to drag it to the corner and line these sides up. Then if you're on a newer version of Photoshop, you just want to drag, drag, drag and it won't become distorted. But if you're on an older version, it's going to be like this when you drag. It's not going to be perfectly still like how it is here. So if you're on an older version, use Shift. And if you're on Photo P, use Shift as well. And if you use Shift, it'll be like this. And if you don't use Shift, it'll be like this. So use Shift and just go like this. I'm going to go like this. And I'm just going to go like this. So you see now that we'll, we put it on our canvas. And you see there's a small piece out right here. So hit on Enter or you see how I click the check mark up there over here so let me just do it once again I put it in place hit on the check mark and then what I'm going to do is hit on C on my keyboard and what that's going to do is help me to crop this so I'm going to crop it so it's just perfectly fitting the flower so let's just crop it until it's like right about here so we crop it and then we're gonna, what we want to do is you want to hit enter or hit the check mark on our keyboard then you can hit control 0 or command 0 to get back to here. Also, if you want to zoom in and out, you can use Control minus and plus. And if you're on a Mac, you hit Command minus or Command plus and Command zero to reset. So here we are with our flower image. And what we want to do now is you want to use this tool, which is two down right here. So there's three different tools. When you hold it down, there's three different tools. If you right click it, you can also get to this. So hit on the lasso tool. If you want to use the lasso tool, what you can do is you can go like this. And if you draw like a circle, you let go and it'll snap back to that. If you don't want to use that, like say if you want to draw like a circle and go like that, it'll just be really nice for that. So that's called the lasso tool. We have this one right here. And this one, what it does is like, say if I want to make something like this, you can make it with unlimited types of, you know, 
edges and then what you want to do is you want to just put it back and then when you see this little round thing it snaps back but we're doing something that's not like that so what we're going to do is I just hit command Z to go back and I hold down on this click on magnetic lasso tool and this is the first tool we're going to be using and what you want to do is what I do is I hold alt on my keyboard or option on Mac and I use my scroll wheel if you do have one on your mouse to zoom in you can also use control plus so you can zoom in but I'm not going to zoom in too much I want to get the full flower so I'm going to go like that and what you want to do is you just want to start not on the edge because you're not going to get the perfect edge you want to start like right around here and then what we're going to do is we're going to slowly move up and as you can see even if I pull away from the edge of the flower it snaps onto it perfectly so I go like this I'm going to click when I get to here click when I get to each edge click here here and as you can see it's no matter what it's still snapping back onto the leaf so click on the end here I'm gonna go 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 keep on going click here click here and you can just click anywhere you want really but as long as it's on the piece you what you want it to be on so as you can see I'm gonna go up to here and I'm gonna go here so with this magnetic la lasso tool you see it went right over this piece right here so we're going to get that back, just don't worry about it for now, just keep on going. So we're going to go all the way on the outside, down here, up here, around this piece. You don't have to click on every edge, but the edges you think that you might have to click on, like if I want to click on this edge, it's just a little bit safer to click. So we'll go here, and as you can see, I just made a mistake up there with the little bump. So we'll, we'll go around here, go down here. It takes out the blurry pieces in the background. So we're going to have to go and fix those later, and I'm just going to keep on going. And it did get a little bit messy, so I'm going to cut it off a little bit short. And there we go. So here it is. We want to click Select and Mask at the top. And if it's not showing up, make sure you hit L on your keyboard, then Select and Mask. So here it is. And now we want to go to the left, and you see the Refine Edge tool. So what you do with this is you can see over here, just wait. I just drew back that entire piece. Remember we cut this piece out over here? So just draw right across and there it is. And I believe it was a piece over here. Let me just see. Yep, there it is. So you just want to like mark it over just like this. And you can also change the size up here by hitting this little drop down right up here. And what that's going to do is that's going to change the size of your brush. So if I want to change it to bigger, I can hold my cursor over size and just go like that. And you can see how big it is if I want it really big or if I want it really, really, really small and precise. So I can also do like something small like this if I zoom in. So I'm going to keep it about to here. Hardness and spacing we don't need to worry about for now. So the plus and the minus up here means if you want to take stuff out. So as you can see, we don't know what we need to take out for now. But if you do want to take something out, like look, if we click on the minus and say if we want to take out the edge of this plant, we just click and we, I'm just gonna go a little bit across this like say if I wanted to take out something like this or something over here you can just use the minus and what it's gonna do is it's going to take away whatever you select like if I just wait over here and yeah that's it for this but what you can also do is you can also restore by using this and then there's other tools like this like the brush tool you can use the brush tool for stuff like to brush over kind of like a paintbrush but you can like brush over like this and I think this one brings stuff back too as well so you can see over here it brought some of the pixels back from the white and we don't want those so you can bring stuff back with that too and if we do so, subtract I don't know it, it will take away some of these so let's just make sure we have everything here so then radius I like to turn this up to a 20 because 20 is a good amount for this if, as long as it doesn't cut out the stuff that you're using so I turn mine up to 20 I hit here and it looks sharp around the edges which makes it look a lot cleaner so as you can see we have smooth feather contrast I usually don't play around with those you can invert it so it, it gets rid of everything on the inside but we don't want to do that for now and then the output settings over here make sure you have it output to new layer just new layer not with layer mask just new layer and this is the safest thing so make sure you check off remember settings too so you can see the new layers here so if you want to see old before and after you want to turn on layer one which was the one we used before 
turn off this one that was before and then this is after before and after then we can get rid of this one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna delete this one and as you can see my background layer here is the white so if I wanna like I click on the lock I'm going to right click and what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the layer so now we have our PNG but don't just stop right there just yet so we're gonna go to file or we can just hit command or control s and what it's going to do is it's going to bring up this and it's going to ask you where do you want to save this so it doesn't mean for a final save because you can always click command s all the time so let's just say video i'm only naming mine this if you want to name it something else you guys are free to do that as well so i'm going to put mine inside of here and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create a new one and let's see so I'll create a new one and I, this is all saved inside my hard drive if you guys would like to do that as well and you guys can save this continuously through the tutorial as well so I'll save it and as you can see down here it says saving and it shows you like three percent or how many ever percent it takes to save it so 99 and now it's saved there but anytime you make a change like say if I just make a change like this we're gonna add a gradient to the background you go here I'm gonna add this purple one and it takes over on the top you wanna drag this behind it and here we go so here it is then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit control s and it'll save in the new gradient we just now did so this is how it looks with the cutout and as you can see there's a bit of the edges over here that didn't come out perfectly so let's just go back now and we're gonna try to do this again but we're gonna try to do it a little bit more clean so we're gonna use a different tool so we're just gonna hit right click and hit delete layer then we'll just go back to this tab or open it once again and drag it and let go then what you want to do is you want to hit command T or control T on PC then you want to just resize it using shift if you're on an old version and no shift if you're on a new version then you just want to you know zoom in a little with control plus or alt scroll wheel so then you're gonna see this all right and we're gonna use this tool right here which is called the quick selection tool so you want to use it and just hold and just start moving your cursor around and you can see it's starting to pick up some stuff right here so let's just keep on going around if it doesn't follow along it will follow along just wait a little longer and then let's just move it around to this side and wait for it to snap and then we'll just go down the stem here you can also let go of your cursor if you want to so it's gonna load and still loading and as you can see it's all around our stuff so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait if you do wanna pick some more adjustments you can use the brackets on your keyboard to make the tip on your paintbrush smaller so if you I want to make it smaller like look smaller and bigger so you can make it bigger or smaller it really depends on what you want to use it for so I'll make it small and I'll go get this piece right here we can also zoom in and out for this one so you'll see that the brush does get a little bit bigger so it's a bit messy so let's just zoom out a little let's get this piece back here you can really just fine tune it so we'll just zoom out a little zoom in okay so now what I'm gonna do is hit control zero or command zero if you're on a Mac click selected mask make sure you have this layer selected and it is gone pretty much so now what we want to do is I'm just gonna go to my radius and as you can see those little white edges around here they kind of do bother some of us so you want to change the radius to 20 and as you can see it might cut out some of the stuff there but look it looks so much nicer now you can also do like smoothing if you don't want the edges to be rough so I can do smoothing if you do it to 100 I think it is way too much but we'll just do it just for an example right here so now you can see and we hit control 0 to go back out and wrong tool just now let me just go back and hit V on my keyboard to move it around and hit control T or command T if you're on a Mac then you want to just make it as big as you want it and you have your PNG so you can also delete this layer before here and let's just right click and hit delete you can also hit control s or command s to save right here and the bar will pop up 
let me just let my hard drive wake up and I'm using a hard external hard drive so I don't use space on my computer and I also put a gradient behind this so if you want to change the gradient or something like that you just double click on this you can change the gradient or if you want a solid color you just double click on this and that is pretty much it for this tutorial hopefully you guys did like this if you did make sure to leave a like subscribe comment and everything else down below and that is pretty much it so i'll see you guys in the next one